Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So, I'm not sure if you were, if you had watched my last video, which was me opening up a color reveal Barbie. Not the last, last one, which is me opening up the color reveal Barbie, but the last one. Uh, the one right before this. And I told you guys, if not, I would go watch that one right now. Because there is a spoiler in which doll I got. So I got this one. This is a review. I got that one. And I literally like just finished up the and I'm starting this one. I also got Carmen Nichols because I had to return my Skylar doll, which I got my Skylar Bradshaw uh, winter break doll because I spent like 40 bucks on her, I think, or around there. And, uh, her shirt had a hole in it and her heel was broken. So I'm just like, I did not spend that much money for me to have to be able to sew something. Cause I used to be able to sew, I can't anymore though. So I just returned it and I got the color reveal Barbie in Karma Nichols. I did consider the one thing that I was hoping for was one of the new, I think it's the new series three dolls. And I really wanted either the mint doll or the yellow doll. Because I, I loved the yellow doll. If you haven't seen the yellow doll, you need to go look it up. Because I swear she looks exactly like she's like right out of Clueless. Which is really funny. Um, I don't know what I did with my towel. So my horse will kind of play. So this is what she looks like. I'm going to back this up just a bit more. Okay. So this is what she looks like. Carmen Nichols. And it's got River Kendall... Parma Nichols. I think this is that Bella. Uh, I can't really tell whether that's Bella or not. Down there. I think I think that's. Yeah, I'm I'm pretty sure that that's Bella. And then that's Stella Monroe, Crystal Bailey, and Amaya Rain. So they actually had, in all the places that I went today, they I I've seen. All of those dolls today. I have to show you the back because it shows all of them. Ta -da! So that's what the back looks like. Um, and at Walmart, they had Stella Monroe, of course, Carmen Nichols because that's where I got her, and Amaya Rain. And then at Target, they had Amaya Rain, Crystal Bailey. River Kendall and Bella Parker. Those are the ones that I stopped that I saw there. And I just out of all of those I didn't really see one that I wanted and then I saw her and I'm just like well hang on. I did have a little bit of a struggle trying to decide between her and Stella Monroe, but I eventually decided on her. I also like love how it's like it's like curvy. Okay, so I'm going to try not to destroy this box because my last box I did destroy my hand open. So I'm going to go get some scissors. Okay, time to open this without destroying this whole package. So I'm just going to like move this so that I can carefully open this without hitting that. Okay, so I've seen so many people open these before. And then I'm just like, this looks super smart. And then I do it and then I proceed to destroy the box. So they did have two Carmen Nichols there. Uh, one had something really weird. It was like brown on her lips. So I'm just like, no, not her. And the other one had a little bit of a dinged up box, which is this one. And I'm just like, you know what? Messed up lipstick or dinged up box. Which one would I rather have? They're both pretty bad. So I got the dinged up box because Whatever, because I love these boxes. The rainbow high boxes are so cool. Uh, come on. There we go. Okay, so that's one. Hit open. I'm not even 100% sure I'm opening this right. <laughs> I really hope that I'm opening it in there. I see it. The thing is, I see like people just like open it like this. And maybe it was like that. It could, it could have been like that. Um, okay. Well, 
let's see. Okay, so it opens so smoothly. I'm impressed with myself. That's like never happened in any box that I've opened before. Okay, so let me show you guys. It just like opened up like that. Okay, so I'm gonna take everything out. So in the back, it has her stand. There we go. In the back, it has her stand, and it's like a neon lime color. And then she's got yellow hangers. I kind of wish that they would have put in like a bright green hanger or something because her color is bright green and not really yellow. But whatever. Um, okay. Oh, God. I hope that we don't break this trying to get this thing open. Come on. Okay, I got it. That was nerve wracking. Okay. So this I will set to the side as I try to figure out how to open up the doll and her outfit is still in there, but I will get that out. In a little bit. Okay. Um, how to do this. Okay, so I will just show you her sort of out of the box. She's still kind of in the box though. Oh, her hair is sort of like crunchy, which is kind of weird. I kind of expected her hair not to be crunchy and like suit this up and be like suit this off because my Skyler Bradshaw doll, which my, was my last doll, I her hair was like super soft and it was curly, which is kind of surprising because mostly... Most times, rainbow high dolls, um, if their hair is curly, it usually has a lot of product in it. Even, like, with their hair straight. Okay, I don't know what it is with their new rainbow high dolls, but they freaking give you a doll with earring holes and no earrings. Why? Because with, with the first series, which all of those first series dolls, I, I'm pretty sure that almost all of them came with earrings. I, I think all of them. And... This, I don't think it fits any earrings in it. No, it does not. Like, why? Why would you put earring holes on a doll if you don't actually include any of the earrings? So, I mean, like, I might get Avery's closet, which has some earrings in it. I might not. But, I mean, like, I sort of get it, but also just, like, why? Okay, so I'm going to try to get all of this little snippy stuff snapped off. Okay. I was about half an hour struggling. I got her out of the box. Finally. Okay, so her hair is like crazy. Like the coloring. Although I'm already seeing stuff that I don't really like about it. Which I'm kind of annoyed about. But I also forgot to mention Along with the stand, she comes with a comb that matches her hair color. So I'm just gonna like brush out her hair right now. I hate hairspray. Hairspray on dolls' hair is horrible. Oh, yes, yeah. Okay, I think I might have made it look even worse than it did with the hairspray. So, oopsie. But oopsie, but whatever. Um, okay. So for starters off, her hair in the front. So this side had some hairspray in it. No, it doesn't really have any hairspray in it. But uh the front of her hair has hairspray in it to like here, I'll show you guys on this side. Um, in terms of the part that has hairspray, it's like to here. That's how much hair in the front has hairspray. And in the back, I don't know if it's because she's not even really a collector's doll, which is really quite annoying, but like, I didn't really even do anything to her. And you can see like her head, like where her hair is supposed to be, which 
as a collector I don't really like. That's kind of annoying and that is going to bug me a lot. Granted I probably won't be like touching her hair a ton but still it's kind of annoying. Um, okay, so then we will move on to her eyes. Uh, so she has real eyelashes, and then, like, you know, like, that comes out. And then her eyes are brown. And she's got, like, this really sparkly lipstick. Okay, don't focus on me. Focus on the doll. Covering that up. Um, and then she's got, like, this really, really sparkly lipstick. If I tap on it, it'll focus on her. Come on, focus on her. Yeah, well, she's got this really sparkly, like, iridescent lipstick on. And neon green eyeshadow. And then she's got this really adorable, it's almost like fishnet shirt. And her straps say rainbow on it. And then, I was wondering if they said rainbow, then high on the other. They just say rainbow on it and then her skirt has a belt and it's like I can't really tell it's almost like ripped and then I think that's the style and then it's got like this tool pleated skirt and then she's got like this turquoise sheer pleated skirt and she's got another skirt underneath it um, and then her socks are fishnet, and, gosh, please just focus on the doll shoes, and they say rainbow, and her shoes are, like, turquoise, oh, crap. So, if you would watch my last video, you would know that this started happening with the shoe, and then it came off. And then it's got like these fake buckles on it, which is really cool. And on the toes, like the detail in this is incredible. And like on the toes of them, it's this sparkle. If it'll let me focus on it, it won't. But I think you can adjust me. It's a sparkle. Um, and then she has articulation in the head. She can move it. Back and forth, up and down. She can move her arm up and down. She can move her elbow and she can move her wrist and she can touch her face. Uh, she can move her waist back and forth, like up and down. She can't really move it back and forth, but mostly up and down. Um, and then she can move like the legs up and down and then the knees and standing articulation and ankles no no arc articulation and ankles and she does have pierced ears but and no earrings kind of sad um it's really weird you can like see the holes where they put in her hair which is like super weird um but she also came with another outfit <clears throat> that I am going to try to get out of the box. I can already tell that I'm going to be in freaking love with this skirt. I'm going to try to get out of the box. Okay, so that came out pretty easily. And it's got a back. And uh, it's like a glued to the back. So I tried ripping the back off of the shoes. And it just did not work whatsoever. So I am just going to like... It's got this silver almost display thing on it so I'm just gonna like pull that off and hopefully not break it completely in the process because I would like that okay so the shirt why are there so many pieces to this okay so the shirt's coming out Same with the skirt too. The skirt's awesome. I love the skirt. Okay, now the shoes. Come on. There we go. 
so one side opens forward and the other side opened out. If one of these shoes breaks, I'm going to start having a serious problem with rainbow high shoes. Okay. But these look like they're pretty sturdy on there. Which is fine. So now I'm going to attempt, attempt uh, to change her out of this outfit into this other outfit. This is going to be interesting. I did not do this with my Skylar doll because I was too afraid I was going to hurt her hair. But hers is just like straight. So I just can't really be messed up. So yeah, I am going to go change her. Oh, and I forgot to mention, first of all, she has, you guys getting in my face? She has underwear, like neon green underwear, and she has, she can turn her leg, like, backwards, which is really cool with whatever this joint is here. So, for this jacket, I did have to take off her hand, which I thought would be a really good time to show you her painted nails. Um, so the cool thing about rainbow high hands is that they can come off, which is really cool and they can easily get snapped back on, but usually while you're putting on jackets or anything long sleeved, it's usually easier just to take their hands off and then it just like, if I can get her hand in the right position, snaps right back in like that. So, I'm going to take off this hand, and if you look, it just pops right up. But you have to make sure that you do it right, and you don't break her hand in the process. Okay, so, she's done with her new look. Oh, and I didn't put her hand back on, because I'm just going to change her after this video back into her original outfit, because I want to display her. Oh, speaking of display... I forgot to show you guys the stand and the hangers. Okay. So, the stand. This, like, really kind of shoots me all the time. So, I'm going to show you guys how to do this without confusing yourselves. Completely and totally. I'm going to take off there. I mean, not going to lose her hand. Otherwise, it's not going to be a good day for that doll. Okay. So, you have... This circle thingy, this fan thingy, and whatever this is. So what you're going to do is you're going to take the circle thing and it's got this thing of a ball in it. And you are going to put the stand into it. And then you're going to take whatever this is and put it through the top of it, like so. And you have your own doll stand. Um, okay, now for the hangers. Okay, that hurts. Don't try to open them if you have like acrylic nails on because that's super bad for you. Okay, okay. These bags are like ridiculously strong. Okay. So, hanger time. So she has one hanger for... That's cool, it can detach from the pants. Okay, so this is her pants hanger. And it's got like these little clippy things. So it can hold her pants. Um, and then this is her regular hanger to hold her shirt and her jacket. Now, I do kind of wish that they had done something across the top of this. Like, um, with my Skylar's hangers, it had like rainbow written across the top of it. Um, which I thought was really cool. So now I will give you guys a rundown of her look. So again, the hair. And then she has this rainbow tank top and it says rainbow on it with like rainbow decals. And then she's got this jacket and it's almost like fishnet again. And that, I don't know why that's on there. And it's got like these fake buttons and then a pocket. Um. And then, this is the skirt that she's wearing. It's like, 
this is really cool it's like fake leather and then it's got fake zippers and pockets in it actually i think that might be no yeah it's fake pockets in it. and then her shoes she's got like bulky heels with clear straps and white straps and green tips so yes that is her i hope you guys like this video like and subscribe and comment down below if you have this doll and what is the name of that doll from series three that looks like she's right out of clueless please comment down below what the name of her is because i'm like completely banking blanking on it she did see a rainbow high video uh it was the one where they're all invited to like the party and uh stella monroe runs out of the room and uh she pushes she pushes aside the girl who looks like she's right out of clueless and uh since it's an edit video it goes r.i.p yellow bella which i'm just like okay that's really funny so her new name is r is like yellow bella so that's her new name for now until i actually know what her name is which i need to look that up so this is it's my okay. day Karma Nichols. We'll remember that eventually. So this is Karma Nichols. And yeah, stay tuned for my next video where I will be opening a surprise doll. American Girl doll. Just for clarification.